sharpening the shank. I know that sound. I'm sharpening the shank is uh, when I'm at work and I'm in the tower, I can hear inmates uh, sharpening metal on the concrete. That's where they done found some metal somewhere and sharpened it to create a shank. This environment is extremely dangerous. I know that this place is infested with weapons, so I want to find a shank. I tell one person, and before I knew it, people were just coming up looking to help me get whatever. O'Shea and I came in together, so he can probably get me what I need. So the idea with me buying all the shanks was that I'll buy as many as I can, so that's less in the facility, or less, in, at least in my pie, five. That's what they call shanks in jail. We walked in the bathroom, and he showed me this shank. He said he can make me a good one. Hey, that was the best shank I got, too, by the way. Um, it didn't look that good, that clear from the camera, but that was the best shank that I that I got from the first phase to the second phase, the best. I agreed to give O'Shea 10 soups for the shank. That he put a point on it himself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, camera people. Hey, camera people. <laughs> I'm just having fun now, quit kidding around. Yeah, that, that, that shank was uh, was pretty bad. So a lot of people was wondering why why I was doing that, showing it to the camera, talking to the camera. Um, I actually put toilet tissue to the window. So in my facility, that's an indication that uh, you're using the restroom. So I know that inmates do that as a sign of, you know, I'm using the restroom, so forth and so on. So what I do is I put toilet tissue to the window when I'm doing or saying certain stuff. Why did you move to a different pod? Yeah. I'm such a uh, a good guy. A good guy. The guys wanted me to move to a different part. The deal was to find out what you needed to do in that unit. See, Dennis and I we were really thinking the same thing because I wanted to go to uh, Pi Six uh, Two so I can see how how everything going on. Donovan and I, we, I mean Dennis and I, we had this conversation about um, uh, Six. He said he went there. Uh, he did. I think he went before I got there. I didn't know what was going on. All right, they called me out of my room. The lady wanted to speak to me. The lady said, Dennis Johnson, pack your bags. Cut the act in here, okay? We <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said, cut the act, man. <laughs> Look at Dennis. <laughs> We're expecting you to help us out. Your safety is our concern, okay? Yeah, I'm safe. They, they well, no, out. you're not. Not when you go and move to another unit, okay? okay. They get you back there in one of them pods with no cameras in. Dennis didn't know that there wasn't no cameras there. As far as I'm concerned, he ain't know. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to that unit. Yep. Say you're having some problems with some guys up there, and you just don't feel like you need to be in here. Yep. Can I go back to unit four? Understood. Understood. Chief Pete gave him a good way out. Everything's good. I've been doing what I can. To as far as explaining it to the other inmates. understand what you're doing? I'm doing this. How many people do you see take their shirt off every day in front of a camera and work out? The shirts get wet. You know the rules. You can't have your shirt off in the pod. I'm playing by the rules. Did you have your yes, shirt off? Yes, yeah, I did. It's a yes or no. Yeah, yeah, it's a yes. You had it off. Yeah. That's not following the rules. He working out. You know, they don't, they don't do laundry like they supposed to, so when he work out, he work out. So when he work out, he take a shirt off. To me, that makes sense. He and you ain't supposed to do it, but you're an inmate, so. This ain't some school, y'all. But I understand Chief Pete's side, too, because it ain't. No, there's no cameras over there in Pi 6. So. Trying to look cool and all this kind of stuff. I don't need that. Don't raise your voice at me. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, don't raise your voice at me. You're in my building. Don't turn around anything on me, because I promise you, I will walk you out the door right now. OK. OK, Chief P.
go in there, do what you're supposed to do, and do your job. Simple as that. Okay. Okay. I, I can respect them both. We don't have any more problems. We're good. We are? Okay. 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 Go do your job. All right? Hang in there. <laughs> hey, Dennis, Dennis trying to break his hand. <laughs> oh, <sir. laughs> okay, Chief Pink. But at the end of the day, I do this for a living. Don't try me. For a living? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, hey, Chief Pink was like, hey, man, listen here, man, I do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen to the officer that left me naked? Is he going to get in trouble for that, for leaving me naked in the room? I'm not the only one that's happened to. I'm just the only one that bitched about it. It's okay. See, the females are more organized than the men. The men, we ain't doing all them grievances and all that. Uh, most most men and inmates don't do that for whatever reason. And it's a great system to use. That's all that matters to me. When I'm getting this man and saying the same thing, when it's come to inmates that I know full damn well run in different social circles, it kind of raises the hairs on the back of my neck. You know what I mean? I'm going to see what I can do for you about her. What's your name again? Deputy Klein. Klein, okay, all right. Thank you. I am very angry, and I hope and pray that he takes what I tell him seriously and handles it. I believe he will. Okay. All the women are locked down. I'm in my cell. Miss Williams immediately starts taunting inmates. We're not in here to be gawked at. I had no idea that this was one of the female pat. Right. Oh, I can open the door. And then the night shift sergeant comes, I guess, to check on Miss Williams. You were really in the unit. It's my job. I'm going to show that. Conversate with you and make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. They just doing whatever they want to. It ain't nobody holding them accountable. Nobody. Nobody's saying anything. Y'all just come up here questioning me about what I had done and what, you know. Yo, first off, you don't talk to your chain of command like that. And you tell me inmate to shut up, that's unprofessional. And that is true. That's why no 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 other inmates respect her. I have no idea what's going on but I would love to watch Miss Williams get fired right in front of me. That would be my dream. And I want her to know that I was the one who was responsible for her getting fired. I know that's right, Ash. Hey, hey, hey. Miss Williams, I think, is her name on the unit five. It's all about just quitting and leaving, so it would be kind of mindful that she's trying to get out of the unit. What y'all don't understand, what you don't understand. It's not like people sit up there and threaten me. That's the job I used to do. Yo, you threatening them as well. If it's a matter of you can't keep check of your emotion when they're threatening you and you're wanting to beat their ass. I didn't even know where they were Every time I come in here for 12 hours. And you handle it like a boss, so why is tonight dark? I don't handle it. I mean, so on, on the officer yeah. side, I mean. 12 hour shifts, underpaid, you're talking 10, 11 bucks an hour, 12 hour shift to put up with this. I mean, I mean, who, who really want to work there? Who, who really want to do that job? Oh! No, 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 no. Oh my God! Yo, she crazy. She walks out, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm dreaming. What the f has happened? Hey, don't she know, don't, she actually don't believe it. But I hope that she never is going to come back to jail again, that this is the last time that she's in this facility. The bitch is gone! The bitch is gone! Yeah, yeah! Burn in hell, bitch! <laughs> well, ain't not <that> celebrating. <laughs> The program was to end today, and I had to tell the sheriff, you know, what I found. I wouldn't be proud, because okay. I know there's a lot more that I can do. So you're here looking for contraband, you're looking for drugs. Before you walk out of here, what's your plan? Yeah, so, I mean, now uh, that I got got some fire, 
shank on me, I think I can uh, get involved in some dope. People don't offer me drugs, so it's, it's hard for me to actually get to the people who have the drugs, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't offer, so for me, it's, it's just, I have to let it happen. You just gotta right, see, really, really this ain't his element. Careful about he don't, he don't, he never been to jail, so he, he gotta move a I'm certain gonna, way. I got contraband on me already with the shank. Now I just pondered in my mind, like, how do I wanna get some drugs? And it just hit me, it was like, all right. Red is the guy that knows about everything that goes on in the jail. And we play cards together all the time. Yeah, Red, Red knew everything. He probably could run the jail. So my plan was to hopefully he knows something about how they bring it in. I was like, hey, you know what, Red? Because we won in the cards game or whatnot, I'm gonna get you some ice. Red goes and find out who has it. See, he working his angle. I can, I can, I can respect that. I got the green light to uh, get involved in some dope and that's what's going down. Now that I understand where the drugs are coming from, I just wanted to know how to, you know, put myself in a position where I can get it. And then Red ended up sending Megatron over to me. And that's when Megatron's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he looked just like that. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. 20 items for some meth. And now it's solid. That's what's going down. I'm about to get it right now. They had all the drugs, man. The Hispanic guy with the, the long hair, the that's why I probably brought 85% of my drugs from. And he just whips it out in public. And I'm like, oh, Megatron, what the hell? You know, I don't want nobody to know that I'm actually buying these drugs. <laughs> See, now you tell Megatron, he used to doing this. He used to doing this. He just go right out in the open and just boom, 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 boom. What are you doing? And next thing you know, what the hell am I going to say? Just don't want to get caught getting drugs inside of a jail. Wow, what a crazy season. If you're as sad as me that it's over, you can go to AETV.com to watch every episode and subscribe to the a and &E YouTube channel for 60 Days In. Full episodes and clips uploaded every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you there.